In syntax, in the field of linguistics, we talk about complements and adjuncts. And there are a couple different features to help us differentiate whether a phrase is a complement or an adjunct in a particular sentence. And one way is to think about if the phrase is grammatically necessary or if it's optional. There are other methods, but we're going to focus on just that one in this presentation, whether the phrase is grammatically necessary in the sentence. So let's look at this sentence. Taylor caught the ball. In this sentence, the verb caught, we think about it, what is required in order for the verb caught to happen. The verb caught requires both a person who does the catching and what is caught. So this is called a transitive verb because the noun phrase is required to complete the action of uh, the verb. One noun phrase is required as the doer, and here it's in subject position, and another noun phrase is required to finish the idea of the catching. And in English, we have that um, here in the verb phrase, uh, which is called a direct object in uh, grammatical functions. So in linguistics, we show the complement relationship by how the tree, in this case, we're going to focus on the verb phrase, how the tree is put together. When the noun phrase is a, or whatever phrase, but in this case, a noun phrase, when the noun phrase is required, we see that the noun phrase is connected with the head of the verb phrase, the verb. So they're on the same level. But we can also think about it this way. We know that a clause requires a noun phrase and a verb phrase, and we see that there's only one uh, verb phrase, and it includes that noun phrase, right? So we have a clause is a noun phrase, verb phrase, and this verb phrase requires the noun phrase to complete the catching action. So this is what it looks like in the tree. These are, um, this noun phrase complement is connected straight to the head of the verb phrase, which is the verb. Now, that's a transitive verb. You don't have to know that, but we know that that's one structure, right? A verb phrase can be made up of a verb and a noun phrase. And then with this verb, that noun phrase is not optional. So let's look at another sentence. So in this sentence, we've changed the verb to cried. And um, cried, if we think of that event, crying only requires one participant, right? The, um, the person who's doing the crying. And uh, we're gonna put that noun phrase in subject position. So we only have one argument and we need to put that in subject position. So there are no direct objects. There are no other noun phrases required. That's all that's grammatically necessary. And again, we see that the clause is a noun phrase, verb phrase, and that's all that's necessary. But that's a pretty boring sentence, so sometimes we add things. Like, Taylor cried in the movie we might want to add a prepositional phrase to make the sentence more interesting. We've already talked about that um, Taylor cried is grammatically complete. So we have a verb phrase, a noun phrase, verb phrase that represents that, that that's all that's needed to complete, to create a grammatically correct sentence in English. In the movie is not grammatically necessary. It's an adjunct. It's added on to modify. 
where the crying took place so we show that in linguistics in the tree structure by showing that that prepositional phrase is connected at the phrase level not at the head level like we saw in um, the first example so we have a complete sentence taylor cried with this vp but in this sentence there's a larger vp that includes the vp that's required um, and a optional prepositional phrase so this is what it looks like when the um, phrase in this case a prepositional phrase is optional it's connected um, at a phrasal level with another phrase so just taking a moment to compare um, the sentence in on the left has a complement because the ball is this noun phrase is required to complete the verb of catching we need a catch er and what is caught so it's connected this way but this prepositional phrase in this sentence is not grammatically necessary so it's not connected down to the verb it's connected to a verb phrase those are some things to can think about when we're um, drawing trees with complements and adjuncts.